The Public Works Department in Kansas City has been an asset. We hired a new uh, Public Works Director, Michael Shaw, and Michael brought to our attention how we, we needed technology to get a new asset management system. And we have put more emphasis through the technology we've uh, applied to making the streets, the infrastructure in our city much better. And they respond to all the public concerns and they address them quickly. Technology is utilized in public works in every aspect of our organization, whether it's transportation, solid waste, or street maintenance. Knowing what we're doing, how we're doing it, and when we're doing it is critical to us making sure that we do it right and that we're using taxpayers' money smartly, efficiently, and getting the biggest bang for the buck. The role of asset management within Public Works is to help us make data-driven, informed decisions. We use uh, cartograph, GIS, vehicles that go out there and, and capture all this data on all our assets. The information we gather from, from our technology helps us decide what treatment the, the, the asset needs. Uh, do we need to do preventative maintenance? Do we need to do uh, rehabilitation or is it a full reconstruction? The ARAN vehicle, the automatic road analysis vehicle, uh, utilizes a special set of survey instruments that measure street distress. Those street distresses range from potholes to transverse longitudinal cracking, alligator cracking, and, and many more. They take that raw data, uh, utilizing AI and some of their software, they are able to provide us a score that we put into our asset management system. It's called the overall condition index. That score plays a huge role in how we perform and pick the next set of uh, program in the next following year. So instead of mill and overlaying streets every 40 years, we're down to a 12 year type of program where we touch every road every 12 years. The most common concerns I see from uh, regarding public works is how do we get our schools walkable? How do we put sidewalks to our schools? And that's one of the things we have focused on significantly in the last six, seven years. Right now we are rolling into a new program of implementing the sidewalks. So we had to work with our partners using tech like uh, segways, LiDAR scans, and actually manually walking the streets to identify how bad the condition of the sidewalks are. We are taking all this information, adding equity to it, safety, like pedestrian and bike crashes, public engagement, which involves 311s. So the goal is to make sure everyone in Kansas City can walk safely to schools, transit stops, parks, grocery stores, entertainment district, or wherever they need to. We are constantly gathering feedback from people uh, all over the city to better learn about what our biggest challenges are and the best solutions to solve them. The beauty of our 311 My KCMO app is that we can meet people where they are. They are able to share information with us and report issues on their phone, digitally, and automatically. It also allows us to route those requests and to begin workflow and processing of those requests automatically. With a push of a few buttons, you can record an address, select a type of issue, add pictures, add other comments and notes and information that help us better understand the issue and also respond to it in a more efficient manner. We at Solid Waste provide trash service for over 160,000 residents. So Solid Waste uses Rubicon to help track our trucks and also for service verification. So at any point in time, we know where our trucks are and also we know when they're servicing um, our residents. What Rubicon also allows us to do is to break down each day into multiple routes. And so if we have a truck that breaks down, um, another driver can start running that route and they use Rubicon to assist. We have also implemented Rubicon, which helps us in our snow removal application. Um, we have issued uh, tablets to all of our drivers, which helps them get through their routes and in a more timely manner. We have a loader scale that we are testing right now on one of our loaders, which basically just weighs all of our salt. So we have an accurate count of how much salt we use during snow removal. And we are also going to try to um, obtain a uh, snowplow simulator to help train our drivers in the future. Utilizing technology in transit is very important. People 
get around this city in multiple different ways, whether it's by car, bus, streetcar, bicycle, or walk, or even in a scooter. Understanding how people uh, move throughout the city, it's important to capture that data and make sure that they can move across this city safely. One of the technologies that we're using is integrated traffic signal priority. We're not just counting vehicles and cars, but we're taking information, we're extrapolating information, how many people are on these cars, how many people are on these buses, filtering that in through the traffic signal management system and moving people, not just vehicles. It can also be found in how we select where we put our bike lanes in. We use our bike share and scooter share information to figure out where people are riding rather than trying to guess. So it's not just about building roadway miles anymore. It's about developing a comprehensive strategy on how we can provide different options for different people and how they get to and from their homes, where they work and where they play. Kansas City is a powerhouse when it comes to technology. We use technology as a tool to make data-informed decisions that are driving unprecedented success in our community. We see it improve citizen satisfaction. We see it in better use of funds and we see it in the actual outcomes that are out here on these streets in Kansas City.